हेलो गाइस आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस वंडरफुल प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज बाय यूज एग्जाम प्रेप सो गाइस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट एज यू आर अवेयर दैट ऑलरेडी गेट एग्जाम ओवर लास्ट मंथ रिजल्ट इज अबाउट टू कम सो दैट्स व्हाई वेरियस कॉलेजेस लाइक आईआईटीज आईएससी एनआईटीज नाउ दे विल बी स्टार्टिंग गिविंग देयर नोटिफिकेशन फॉर एडमिशंस सो यस्टरडे वी हैव सीन द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ आईएससी बेंगलोर टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आईआईटी चेन्नई आईआईटी मद्रास यू कैन से सो गाइस 18 डिपार्टमेंट्स 31 mtech programs are there for you guys and important dates we will go for first of all so important dates you can see uh, like you know ccmt is conducting counseling for nids likewise cope conducting counseling for iit okay so cope registration is must first of all you will be going for cope registration then only you will be applying for separate iits and different forms you will be filling and i would like to tell you that uh, 18th march the cope registration will be starting 22nd march registration for gate candidates will be starting and then you can see 19th april will be the closing of website for online applicants so you will be getting the time from 22nd march to 19th april 11th may will be the timeline for admission offer starts then 23rd july will be the date of reporting 26 orientation 29 july commencement of classes will start okay then let us see about the mtech programs if you want to see various programs as their number of seats you can go to this table so i would like to tell you that department wise they have mentioned what are the number of seats like for aerospace engineering you can see 15 seats are there in y category and 28 are in n category what is y category y category is like those students who are appearing through their gate score and they want the stipend of 12400 per month for that they have to give some fixed number of hours every week okay for that you may be getting duty in the labs or maybe you are going to teach or maybe you are getting some uh, other uh, work from the faculties okay so whatever that will be so i would like to tell you 12400 will be uh, there for those candidates so y is for that category and n is for those categories which are not taking any stipend and they are sponsored candidates or maybe the candidates which are coming from some psus or some other uh government organizations whatever they are sending so we are majorly talking about this y category so you can see for y category in aerospace 15 students are there uh, 15 seats are there for department of applied mechanics you can see computational 12 seats are there for biomedical 8 seats are there likewise you can check for biotechnology for civil engineering for chemical engineering computer science electrical engineering so whatever your branch is accordingly you can check for mathematics for mechanical like for mechanical you can see for thermal 44 seats are there that is a very big number for design 25 seats are there for manufacturing 25 seats are there i am telling you at our time 18 seats were there okay so number of seats are very good then metallurgical and material science you can see okay separate department is there okay then you can see some other department like ocean is there physics is there interdisciplinary are there so this is about the number of seat matrix okay now guys once again go back now we will be talking about the other important facts okay so these are the department wise if you want to go and check separate things okay then now we are talking about eligibility program now the point is there are two things you know one student could appear for gate from various papers like if you are a mechanical student you may have appeared for mechanical plus xc or mechanical plus p and i okay maybe your btech is in mechanical but you have appeared for p and i paper then with that paper code you may not be eligible for all the branches so you have to check that first of all let us say i am putting that our qualifying degree is let us say let us say let us say we are going for uh let us put mechanical engineering okay and the paper code i want to see i want to check for xc let us say or p and i let us say i appeared for p and i paper and for that you can see what are the various branches where you can get admission through the gate scholarship industrial mathematics thermal engineering mechanical engineering manufacturing engineering and metallurgical okay so these are with the stipend these are without stipend okay so this is not uh, for all the candidates as i said majorly for gate candidates we are talking about these programs okay so i feel everybody understood how to check with your branch with your paper code okay both the things you have to put there then guys admission related information who can apply those who have qualified gate 22 23 or 24 because gate score is valid for 3 years 
then any iit graduate with btech degree cgpa 8 or above he can apply without gate also okay minimum eligibility for gate bachelor's degree that you already know that i need not to tell then we are talking about apply online so apply with a valid gate score of these three years candidate must register at coap portal like i already told you coap is not an application portal for mtech admission coap registration number is mandatory field registration for mtech admission you have to apply through iit portal only for every iit you need to put a separate application but for that they will be asking you a coap registration number so actually the point is coap is a conducting body for all these iit together okay but forms will be uh, put it separately don't worry we will be having a detailed uh, discussion on coap also and guys then we are talking about uh, ki uh, that is something about application fees so application fees is going to be uh, for scst pwd female is 300 for all others is 600 rupees and if you want to see the institute fees you can go to this okay for institute fees admission fees Uh, all these fees you can see five thousand two hundred fifty one time fees, then tuition fees and all other. Uh, you can see sixteen thousand four hundred. Then you can see the refundable deposits are fourteen thousand five fifty. Okay, then you can see the items of fees deposits like hostel admission fees and all. For this is for day scholar. For hostler thirty two thousand four fifty. For day scholar is thirty three hundred. Okay, so all these are the fees detail. You can see that is a, I feel. uh you should be aware of that how much fees you are going to uh, pay so institute fee which you have to pay for hostlers is different for day scholars is different obviously so you can see iits and iits are not charging much fees for uh, like uh, these programs so fees is are very less and 12400 rupees you are getting every month so this is a good opportunity if you even uh, if you have done your btech from a private college student wants to get a tag of iit and nowadays competition is slightly lesser side so it is very easy to get admissions into i feel you can crack it then guys important dates we have already discussed i feel so okay so we were discussing about the fees last fees you can see about is uh the hostel fees if you want to check so this is about the hostel fees the same things uh, will be coming because in the same document all the fees are discussed okay so this is about uh you can say the complete information and i would like to tell you guys uh, like initially when you are going to apply uh first of all coop registration will be must always remember that without that you cannot apply even in isc also they have mentioned that and if you are talking about fees uh, you can see actually they have mentioned it for the academic year 23 24 so much increase do not happen that's why i am sharing and i am showing you this so if some slight change happen don't say sir you have said that and this i am showing you what is available on their website okay so guys i hope you guys are getting benefit from our channel because we are coming up with all the notifications on time you can join my telegram channel mechanical by dheera sardana to get all the important stuff for your preparation mock interviews and everything so goodbye guys for this particular session stay tuned with us